Hello and welcome to this video. Today I want to show you how to achieve a very low CPI for your mobile games. Before I do this, I want to mention a few criteria that you must met so that it works and also I want to mention for whom this video is interesting and for whom this video is not interesting at all because I want to save your time and don't waste your time by telling you all this stuff first and then in the end it's not useful for you because you are aiming at completely different goals. Okay, so this is a strategy for a very low cost per install or very low CPI. And this is only working if you are willing to work with Google Ads and if you already know some stuff about Google Ads, so you can't be a beginner for this tutorial. This will only work for your Android version. It will not work for your iOS version. If you are looking to achieve higher installs on your iOS version, I would recommend to take a look at Apple search ads. This video's strategy is tested and recommended for Android games, not for Android apps. This video is not interesting for Android apps because it won't work the same way for Android apps. If you are searching for a way to scale your Android game or if you are searching for a way to generate more income with your Android game, this video is not interesting for you. This video will not generate income for your Android game because the users will not be good for income generation. Maybe you ask yourself now, why should I advertise my game if it's not generating income for me? And there are a few reasons for that. The first reason is that with this strategy, you can boost your search rankings that you can achieve with your game in the Google Play Store. So the search ranking for your keyword will be much higher after using this strategy. And also you can boost your position on the top charts. And both of those advantages, having a high search ranking on the Google Play Store and having a high top charts ranking on the Google Play Store, will greatly improve the number of organic installs that you get. The second reason for using this strategy is a reason to use this strategy at the beginning of your game release. Because games with higher numbers of downloads often have a higher chance to be downloaded by a user than games with under 100 downloads or under 1000 downloads. And also, when you have a good game, you can collect a bunch of reviews in the beginning and games with more reviews or with a few reviews normally have a higher chance to get downloaded by a user than games that have no reviews at all. And the last reason, which can be a pretty important one, is that if you have a game that is based on a player versus player scenario, in the beginning, if the servers are empty, your game is not working or your game can't find any players for the players to play. So even if you gain some downloads, they will quickly deinstall your game because they don't have any opponents to face. Or for example, if you have a co-op game and the players don't have anyone to play with because the servers are empty right now. And now maybe you are thinking, why shouldn't I directly advertise the game to players that directly give me a good ROE, so a good return on investment? And I tell you why, because a player with a good return on investment will most likely cost you $1 per install. And the problem with that is that if you just want to start your game slowly, for example, because you don't have so much money for advertising and you need 5,000 players to maintain a good load on the servers so that everyone can find an opponent. If you want to have 5,000 players on the servers, you need to spend at least $5,000 for advertising to get these players with the $1 CPI. And to be honest, I don't even think $5,000 is enough because at the beginning, the first 500 players, they won't even have enough people on the servers to play the game normally. So they won't even enjoy the game maybe, so they deinstall the game, but you still paid $1 for them. And that's why as an indie dev or indie publisher who don't have $100,000 of advertising budget, I think it's a good idea to use this strategy that I'm about to teach you. Because this strategy lets you get users with a 2 cents or 1 cent CPI if you do it good. And that means you can get 5,000 initial players with $100 only. Or if you do it better with $50 only. And after you have these 5,000 real players on the server that are real opponents for your other players, then you can advertise to players with a good ROE. So then you can take this $1 CPI to advertise with players that are giving you a good return on investment. But before, I wouldn't do that because before these players will leave because the servers are empty. But now you have 5,000 people on the server and now you can start advertising to the people with the real money. Okay, perfect. That's it for the introduction. I know it was maybe long and boring, but I didn't want it to make any false hopes for you. So don't think that you will make any money with these players that you gain with my advertising strategy. They are only for the other reasons, not for making money with them. So to start, I want to show you an advertising campaign where I use this strategy. 
As you can see, I gained 3,388 players with this and I was able to maintain a CPI of $0.02 or 0.02 euros, but that's approximately $0.02 at the moment. And at some days I was even able to hit the $0.01 CPI, so one cent cost per install. And if you do this well and long enough, it's even possible to average out at $0.01 CPI. And the reason why I show you this in Euro is because I'm German and I use this for my German account. So I paid with Euro. So that's why you see it in Euros. I'm sorry for that. But it's approximately the same in dollars right now if you check the course. And as you can see, I paid 72 Euros for this. And in the end, I gained some players so I can experiment. So that was perfect and that was my goal with this strategy and you can see I achieved my goal with this. So as you can see here on the geographic locations for my downloads, you don't gain downloads from people that are actually coming from countries that deliver a high CPM for your ads or that are actually buying your products in game, but you achieve players with that. You can see I got some from Iran, from Iraq, I got some from South Africa. Also some from Germany, but not many. You gain like one or two installs from Germany, one or two installs from USA, something like this. Okay, next let me show you the base settings for the advertising campaign before I go into details. For this strategy, you need to connect your Google Ads account with your Google Play Console account and also you need to add your mobile game to your Google Ads account. After that, the base settings for this campaign are actually pretty easy. First of all, you're going to check all countries and territories for your target location. And under location options for your target, you're going to choose presence. The exclude is not important. The languages selection and the campaign settings should be on all languages. But your campaign itself, all the text in the images, all the text itself, and everything that you say in the videos or all the text in the videos should be in English because that will drive you the highest conversion rates. And under budget, you will start with a medium day budget like $20 or $10 per day. And you will reduce that day by day. And it's important that you reduce that because by reducing your daily budget, you will also reduce the cost per install that you spend per day. Believe me. And that's already the first trick. And maybe you are already used to it in a bit like similar way because you are already used to work with Google Ads campaigns. And then you know that you start with a high budget in the beginning because you want to gain some data fast for the Google Ads algorithm. And after that, you will reduce it. But the difference is that in normal campaigns, you will reduce it one time and not day by day. In this campaign, you will reduce it day by day for just a few bucks. And that's why for this campaign, you will start at around 30 to $20, something between those lines. And then you will reduce the budget fast in the beginning and slower in the end. And in the end, you need to stop at $5. That's your daily budget in the end. But in the start, you can start with like $30. Then you reduce it to 20, then from 20 to 15, to 10, to 8, to 7, and then to $5. Something like this would be possible, for example, for the daily reducements. And then we come to the next part, which is the bidding. And the bidding is another part that you should reduce day by day because you can't start with a very low target cost per install. That won't work. You need to put the target cost per install at a medium level, something like 30 cents in the beginning. And then you need to reduce it day by day again. In the end, the target cost per install should be something between 6 and 8 cents. For the bidding, it's similar to the budget. You need to start high, but reduce it fast. And the last reducements you will do slower. So in the beginning, you start with 30 cents. You reduce it very fast to 20 or 10 cents or 15, something like this. And then you reduce it way slower, cent by cent. So everything below 11 cents, you will go cent by cent. Don't go fast for the last cents. Otherwise, you won't get any installs at some point. So from 11, you go to 10, 9, 8, 7, etc. Okay. And if you follow that line and one day you get no installs for the whole day, then you went one cent too far. And then you need to increase your target cost per install by one cent. And then you found the bottom. So that's the bottom line then. Okay, and of course, under what do you want to focus on, you put install volume. Yeah, and that's it for the setup. Next, we come to the points that are important so that this setup works. First, you need to have some nice and appealing creatives. Remember, these creatives must be in English. 
It is important that you have a very high ad strength and you achieve that by adding headlines, descriptions, images and videos and trying to achieve a high CTR for all of these. Don't get confused with the ad strength here. Mine is very low because I removed my old advertising videos from YouTube and that way it also removed them from Google Ads, but yours need to be very high. So what I would do here is checking out competitors and other successful games that are similar to yours and checking out what they are doing for their creatives. After that, create as many creatives as possible for your game and try them out one by one and always check that you have maximum creatives online at the same time because that will add to your ad strength. And then every two days you should check your creatives and you should remove all the creatives that have a low CTR. Your CTR should be over 2% for every creative and only keep the creatives with the highest CTRs. And after removing the creatives with low CTRs, you will add other creatives to their spots so you always have the maximum number of creatives online and you can try out other creatives then and removing the ones that are not working and try out others on their spot. To check out the ads from competitors or other successful games that are similar to yours, I recommend you to use Facebook Ads Library. Put the location settings on all and put the ad settings on all ads. And after that, search for a competitor or other successful game here and click on their Facebook site. And as you can see, as I have a match 3 game, it's important that I search for other match 3 games. So I searched for Candy Crush Saga and I will check out what their advertisements are looking like. Now we can see all the advertisements that were started for the Candy Crush Saga account or Facebook page. And as you can see here, most of them are 15 seconds long. Let's check out one of these advertisements. And here we can directly see the next big thing that all of these ads or most of these ads seem to have in common. And that is a hand that is playing the game with its fingers stretched out. And in the end, it will show the brand name or the name of the game with a call to action to download or play the game now. So just from this page, we can already fetch so much valuable information for our advertisements. Now we know that the most popular form for this advertisement is a hand which is playing the game with a call to action in the end and the brand name or game name in the end. Also, the most popular form of this advertisement is the vertical form and the most popular length is 15 seconds. And with this information, you can now start to create your own creatives and you bypass the long way to find the most successful formula for your creatives because you can take the most successful formula from your competitors, which is already working. Now we come to the last part that we need to work with and this is the keyword planner from Google Ads itself. We need to use this tool to find good headlines and descriptions for our creatives. For a headline or description to be good, it needs to have a high conversion rate, like I said before, a high search volume and a low price. Okay, first let's add the most important countries for our search location. We will add Germany, Australia, Switzerland, United Kingdom and United States. Then we change our language to English and add keywords for match tree, game and riddle. Next we will add three filters so it only shows keywords which have a low competition and a low range bit between 5 and 30 cents. If you want to go even cheaper, you can set the low range bit between 1 and 15 cents. After that, go to refine keywords and open brand or non-brand. Deselect non-brand, TV networks and other brands. Now you can search in the results for keywords which you can discreetly include in your descriptions or titles. But before you do that, make sure that you sorted the results by average monthly searches, from high to low. To give you an example, if you have a match 3 game with food, then you could use the keyword cooking games, which would be perfect because it has 10 to 100,000 monthly searches and it has a low range bit of 7 cents. So before you write your titles or descriptions, make sure that you search for keywords which you can discreetly include in your descriptions or titles and the keywords shall have a high search volume for a low price. Make sure your keywords have something to do with your game and are not misleading, otherwise your advertisements will be much more expensive. Okay, that's it for this video, I hope this helped you. Welcome to the end of this video. Hit the subscribe button to stay updated. Also, if you need some high quality assets for your game or like our channel and want to support us, feel free to check out our assets at the Unity or Unreal Asset Store. You find the link to our store pages in the description. I hope you learned something new and see you next time.